Hello friends welcome to the new video. Russell Brand is defending himself against what he describes as very serious criminal charges from his past. In a video shared on social media on Friday, the actor, comedian and author denied claims that he had received letters and emails from a mainstream media TV company and a newspaper. Mail has been received. Brand did not identify the organizations by name, but said the communication contained a list of very serious and offensive attacks. Dear friends don't forget to subscribe our channel for more informative videos. Amid this litany of shocking, rather baroque attacks, there are some very serious allegations that I categorically deny," Brand said in his video. On Saturday, British newspaper The Sunday Times, The Times and Channel 4's dispatches published a joint investigation in which four women alleged that Brand sexually assaulted them in separate incidents between 2006 and 2013. He was 31 years old at the time of the alleged attack in London. According to The Times, the women in the report chose to remain anonymous. CNN has not been able to independently verify their claims. Literary agency Tavistock Wood, which was listed as the brand's representative, told CNN on Saturday that Brand clearly and vehemently denied the allegation in 2020, but we now believe we have was grossly misled by him. TW has severed all professional ties with the brand. At least two of the alleged attacks took place in Los Angeles. According to the report, one woman was treated at a rape treatment center on the day of the alleged assault. Police were contacted by the center, the story said, but the woman chose not to file a report because she didn't think my words would count against her, the rape center notes. According to the woman shared with The Times, these allegations relate to when I was working in the mainstream, when I was in newspapers all the time, when I was in movies. And as I've written extensively in my books, I'm very, very it was absurd. Brand said in his video. Now in this era of broken promises, the relationships I had were absolutely, always consensual. Brand has written and spoken extensively about mental health, as well as his past treatment for drug and sex addiction. It has built a digital platform for wellness in recent years. I've always been transparent about it, almost too transparent. And I'm transparent about it now. And to see that transparency turned into something criminal, which I absolutely deny, makes me sad. It forces one to question whether there's another agenda at play," Brand added in his video. She alleged that she was being assaulted by publications in an attempt to control her voice. I don't mind them using my books and my stand-up to talk about their controversial, consensual behavior in the past," Brand said. What I seriously deny are these very, very serious criminal allegations. Thanks for watching our videos.